Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this month's Potomac Bead Box Unboxing. This is September's Treasure Edition and I'm just going to cut into the box here. <laughs> and uh, there is a link down in the video description for if you want to go on this beading journey with me and to get a bead box of your own. So we are just going to jump right into this. Ooh, Spice Market treasure box. You can screenshot that and read it if you like. I want to get right into the beads. Woo! Already. Oh, okay, Lucite star beads. I like Lucite. It's, I think it's technically just plastic, but it's a durable and very lightweight plastic. So I love things like this for like zipper pools or something where you want like, um, like back in the day we used to do like cell phone charms for cell flip phones. Um, I'm sure, you know, something will come along that, uh, is comparable and works with modern cell phones that don't have the flip hinge, but I'm just going to come through. If there's anything that needs tidied up, I'm just going to use my flush cutters. And that's just the nature of the beast with things like this. Now this one, Yep, they're, it looks like they're all drilled, tip through to bottom. Oh, these are so cute, though. Kind of spooky. At least the, uh, I bet we could do these up to be Halloween-y and wire wrap them and kind of just hang them around the house or make some really cute and lightweight pendants. So there's Lucite stars. Oh, these Ava beads. Okay, and I love copper-toned stuff. We had so much fun making some bracelets and some different, like, uh, necklaces with these, like, kind of strung. I specifically love these for if you have a top-drilled teardrop, if you can visualize, like, fitting. This isn't quite the right style of teardrop. Um, it's one that I made on my home, home torch, but you can kind of visualize how they f just frame really nicely, and then the wire would just go through that there. And it was, I don't know, it was kind of fun. Keep an eye on our social media, y'all, because I will be posting little, like, uh, real short TikToks about what we make with this month's Potomac bead box. So we have Ava beads, and it looks like there's enough there for, like, a bracelet, surely, at least. And then, let's see. Ooh. Okay. So they're not genuine jet. It's just jet black glass, but I'm okay with that. Let's see. And so I've been really needing finger rings, earrings, and ear cuffs. We sold really well out of all of those um, at our recent vending event at Dragon Con. And these kind of look like little Oreos. Maybe it's just because I'm a good eater, but um, these are cute though. Okay, they definitely have a right side and a wrong side. These might make some really cute rings. We'll have to see, especially wrapped in like an antique copper, or maybe we could incorporate them with like some wire wrapping or some chain mail for a bracelet. Let me know down in the comments what you would use some of these beads for. Ooh, a curved tube bead. I've never used these before. Now that's cute. Now I think I've seen these where folks would like string them onto like a beading cable and put like a really cute bead in between. How cute is that? I wonder if this would be good for a bracelet. Would these be better for a bracelet or for a necklace, I wonder? But it is a five pack. It says there's 37 by two millimeter in that they're 99.9% .9 pure silver plated. So that's very nice. No nickel in that, or hopefully no nickel in that. Now these look a little bit like Brecciated Jasper, but they are opaque red tile beads. I wonder, do they have one hole or do they have two holes? Oh, very nice with the one hole. I love that color scheme. I can really see the like spice market vibes with these deep coppers and earthy tones. I just light some cinnamon incense and, and go. Oh, well that this might have been oh a tape measure. Look at us go. <laughs> How long is it? Oh, it's pretty long. Sixty inches. That's pretty good. So five feet. Very handy stuff. And then here we have. Ooh, do not eat. <laughs> 
Oh, look at these. How pumpkin spicy. A uh, nice four millimeter terracotta. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna go ahead and pop them into a little bead container just because we can. Uh-oh, dropped one already. So, just scooping. Very nice. I just love that sound. <laughs> no, these bead containers were not included in this. I just had them right here, so I thought I'd use them. And this is, ooh, Athena Cast Metal Charm Tree Bitch. Let's see. Oh, how cute. Those would be really cute as little earrings. Definitely gonna have to make those into some earrings. And then here we have some very nice size 11 uh, metallic rainbow seed beads. Very pretty. I like to use seed beads quite a bit in my bead stringing whenever I'm making like a necklace. So the part of the necklace that would sit along the back of the neck instead of just using chain, I like to use glass beads because I feel like it sits very comfortably against the neck. Now these have a very nice pearlescent look to them. I love that kind of pearly sheen. Very nice. <clears throat> I really recommend kits like this or bead boxes like this for if you're just starting to get into um, crafting and you want to build your bead collection, expose yourself to different size, shape, colors, and styles of beads that you might not, you'll be able to find at like Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Walmart or, you know, I don't know if your local Dollar Tree carries beads or anything, but it's a really great way to just like a sampler box to expand your palette and to see what you like, what you don't like. Um, and it lets you know for, uh, sometimes I don't even know what I don't know. And I love getting to play with beads. So it's a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good deal here. And these are very pretty. Now these match very well with this glass tone, a little bit more metallic, but gosh, that faceting really adds a nice bit of sparkle, doesn't it? And then here, I keep getting drawn back to these. Ah, they have the three bead holes. Goodness. Jet bronze smooth. I'm really going to have to learn how to, like, utilize these in a beading pattern. Because I'm not entirely certain how to incorporate them with my wire wrapping. I guess we could just use the centermost bead and just not worry about it. Or the centermost hole on the bead. Let's see how these look. Are pretty I just love that tone it's such a deep bronzy brown that it looks black and to except for where just the lights shining off of it now these are an interesting little texture and there's not a whole bunch of any one type of bead it seems here um, but I mean it'll be nice for making some earrings or making some finger rings really like these ones that six millimeter peridot with a gold wash. Yeah, I would, whoop, where'd it go? I would definitely use these to make some really pretty finger rings. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beads here. So I'd be able to make nine rings that I sell for starting at $5. So off of one little pack of beads that comes in this whole box, I'd be able to, uh, you know, gross $45 in sales if I sold each of them. And they don't always sell all at once and stuff, but that's kind of, that's how my mind thinks, and that's how I justify buying beads. Now, this was very generously gifted to us by Potomac Beads, but you can take that same kind of, you know, frame of thought, and, like, these guys here would be such pretty rings with that, like, slice of the glass. Like, you see how the light travels through that? Those are gorgeous. I don't know if I'd rather use these as rings or earrings, but that is pretty. And you could just take these or any of these beads and make, like, a little link. And then you could attach a charm and an ear hook, or you could string them together as a bracelet. Like, um, if you're just getting into jewelry making and you don't really know where to begin, I highly recommend checking out, at least for, our, for wire wrapping, um... 
we have a free wire wrapping master class. It's a seven episode series here on YouTube and on, you can find it on our website backtoearthcreations.com and it goes over all of the foundational techniques that I wish I knew when I was first starting out wire wrapping and um, beads like this would be so helpful in expanding on those lessons and kind of just getting your feet dirty or feet wet, hands dirty, who knows. Oh look at these guys. Some six millimeter topaz. So what are y'all's honest thoughts on this bead box? Because I know that with our own subscription service, honest feedback from, from customers or potential customers is invaluable. Um, so let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this kit. And again, if you're interested, there is a link down in the video description. So those are very nice. Again, I would probably use those. Like I'd it, take a couple to make some earrings. I'd take a couple to make some finger rings. And then I'd take the last couple to make some ear cuffs. And that way we'd have a couple of different um, <clears throat> product lines that kind of match each other if folks wanted to coordinate. But we could also use multiple colors together and multiple beads. So these, they really look like citrine, but it says that they are smooth, round, four millimeter yellow glass. But I love that citrine yellow. So pretty. So just kind of warm and again, spicy. It ties in with that spice market theme. And now it looks like we have two more. Here we have some hearts in black diamond, eight millimeter. I'm just opening that up. Ooh, those are pretty. Now, I'd probably use these, if you visualize with me, to frame perhaps another bead and just use them almost as like a smushed, puffed teardrop to kind of, I think I might use those in a bracelet or something. So, and then I've been saving the one that I'm most interested in, oops, for last, and that's, I, I do make my own lamprey glass beads, and so there's, anytime that I get to see beads that somebody else made, it's like I want to look at them and see what colors they used and kind of see how everything came along. So these two could get paired together as maybe some matching earrings or something. Those actually look a little Christmassy to my eye, but anytime I see red and green, I auto think Christmas. Oh, those are pretty with the stacked dots and some nice little kind of swirl techniques. These are very cute, you guys. And I like the little nubblies, <laughs> the way that that one sits. So this is September's Potomac Bead Box Treasure Edition. Again, there is a link down in the video description for if you're interested in a box of this uh, for yourself. They also, if you don't just want um, an assortment of beads, they do have a kit edition that has like accompanying instructions and uh, it'll kind of escort you through the whole project. So that may be something that you want to check out also. I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments. There's quite a bit of stuff here. I'm gonna get, I gotta get to work and start making some jewelry. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys down in the comments. Be sure to sign up for our free newsletter at backtoearthcreations.com uh, to stay notified of whenever we have new tutorials or impromptu live streams. And I will see y'all next time. So until then, you guys, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>